Chapter 7, Bradycardia. Welcome to the lesson on recognizing bradycardia. In this video, we'll discuss what bradycardia means and how to recognize it. Bradycardia is defined as a heart rate that's lower than what is considered normal for a child's age. Bradycardia in children and infants should be evaluated, but not all bradycardia needs to be medically managed. Intervention is required when bradycardia is symptomatic and compromises cardiovascular function. This commonly means that the heart is beating too slowly to maintain blood pressure, thereby causing shock, poor tissue perfusion, and or a change in mental status. Symptomatic bradycardia can cause a number of signs and symptoms, including low blood pressure, pulmonary edema or congestion, abnormal rhythm, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, confusion, and or syncope. Bradycardia most commonly becomes symptomatic when it is of new onset for the individual, which means acute slowing of the heart rate. The following are the kinds of bradycardia and what happens during specific bradycardiac events. Sinus bradycardia, normal rhythm with a slow rate. First degree AV block. PR interval is longer than 0.20 seconds. Type 1 second degree AV block or MOBITS 1. PR interval increases in length until QRS complex is dropped. Type 2 second degree AV block or MOBITS 2. PR interval is the same length with intermittently dropped QRS complex. Third degree AV block or complete. PR interval and QRS complex are not coordinated with each other. This concludes our lesson on recognizing bradycardia. Next, we'll review responding to bradycardia.